I met a gypsy. So what um what inside info did you have on the coop program? Like was there where we were all going like, oh Roxon, you know, but like you had some inside where you're like, nah bro, Coop's got this all day. Uh, I mean, just in a sense of just, I know how he works, man. I've been around him for so long that I just, you just can't count him out. You know, like you really just can't. I mean, even that night where, um, you know, they were making such a big deal about, I think it was one of the Arlington rounds where he he was in the heat race. Like, dude, Kenny yarded him. Uh, Chase came in there and like um, oh, and then Chase, actually tapped yeah. him, put him on the ground. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and Coop yeah. was just off all day. Like in practice, he struggled a little bit. Like, and I'm like, dude, like. I'm telling you, the dude's going to go out and probably win tonight. I just know how he works. Like, the dude's just sick in the head. He's going to go out and get a good start. He's going to dig like he always does, and he's going to win this fucking race. And sure enough, like, it, like I don't know if that crash just woke him up or what it was, but the dude just went out there and just does what he does. Like, he just, I don't know how to describe it, other than the fact that you just can never count the dude out. He rides with such a chip on his shoulder that... He just does some amazing shit. Like, just when you think that, you know, he, there's no way he can do it, then all of a sudden he does it and proves us wrong again. And I just think that's incredible, man. So uh, I think just more or less just being around him for years. Like, I just know how the dude operates, and he's just a sicko. That's just all, the only way there is to describe it is just he's sick, man. He really is. There's there's a crazy thing with Coop, too, where he just will never blame the bike. He's just one of the rare guys that will ride around a, a bad motorcycle. Yeah, I mean, I, I've never, I mean, obviously, yeah, you do your little tweaks and you do shit like that for sure, but if he has a bad night, he looks at himself. First and foremost, I mean, he looks at himself and he was like, dude, I got to get my shit together. Like, we, I don't know what happened, you know? And uh, I think it was one of the races where he did have, um, you know, a little bit of a lackluster performance, maybe the first Atlanta or w- whatever it was, you know, something that wasn't conventional coupe. And I, I just knew that the next one would be different. And he would figure it out by the time they left there. And that's just the way he is, man. I don't care what he has to do, how he has to get himself in that mindset to do what he does. And, you know, I think they did work on the bike a little bit. But for the most part, I mean, you'll never hear him be like, yeah, dude, bike shit. That's why I lost. Or, I mean, anything. It's always on him. And he's rarely in a spot where he can look at it and be like, yeah, I lost because of this. Like, he just doesn't lose. You know, if he's in a position to be close to a win, he wins. I mean, damn near every time. Like, any time there's two laps to go and anybody's ahead of him and he's, like, a second or two within him, I'm like, oh, Coop's got this all day. Like, he's going to win. And he does every time. Like, it's honestly incredible to watch. And it makes it interesting from a fan's uh, perspective because you're just like, can he do it again? You know, can he do it again? And he just seems like he does it every time somehow. Pulls it out of his ass. I don't know how he does it. He- he's got the he's got the shit talking pretty on point as well because like i mean it's like mm-hmm. all right it's you got to preface like the history that ken and coop have but like obviously i don't yeah. really care to go into it but it's like there mm-hmm. is history there between those guys it is personal and it would be mm-hmm. weird every fucking weekend like regardless of the you know what i mean like even if they're not yeah. getting into it on the track like it's still a fucking weird thing to deal with but like yeah he talks shit well too like real fucking yeah. well and there's like yeah. he's on like a black belt level of head fucking and i mean i've seen a <laughs> bunch of guys that think they're killing it um and you know and i mean i've heard kenny be like i'm in his head at like you know personally i've heard him be like oh, i'm in that guy's head i'm like well, i don't know dude <laughs> like <Yeah>. but with <laughs> coop it's like <laughs> yeah yeah like coop it's like you're in everybody's head and there's just like ah the way that he does it it's just fucking chef's kiss on all of the shit talk like he he is a master at it it's like says so much with so little yeah i mean even that uh the the funniest one because he told me about it afterwards like he's he's telling me it was like dude you will not believe uh or he didn't say you will not believe but he was like yeah dude i uh told him what was up on the gate and I'm like, no, you didn't. Like, you're full of shit, whatever. And then, dude, later, Supercross Live posts a video. I guess they, someone was mic'd up around him. He just looks at Eli, looks at King. He's like, hope you boys are ready for a fucking battle. And, dude, like, you're about to take <laughs> off and race these guys. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you have got to be radiating confidence. Like, I better go get shit handled now. And the dude went out and won the race. Like, and fucking crushed it. Like, if that doesn't break your spirit lining up next to the dude, like, I don't know what will. And he just, he knows how to turn that shit on when he needs to. And, 
that just comes from that chip on his shoulder he's always had. I mean, all the way through our amateurs, like getting his ass kicked by Adam, and that kind of made that chip, I think. And, man, yeah, that was just uh, – it doesn't really get much better than that. Like, that's incredible to me. Absolutely incredible. And, and yeah, what are you supposed to do as the dude that gets second to that guy? Like, you got a week. Sometimes you got two days to figure out how mm. to beat that dude. Yeah. I mean, you, you literally just – you don't know how to do it obviously someone no no one's really figured it out yet and and i think coop's only getting better so um yeah i mean the dude just he knows how to win i mean he knows how to get himself right and yeah i think uh you know you heard people saying all year like man kenny just needs to knock him down one time you know like try to get in his head a little bit or something and um you know it's just yeah i don't know if you can do that with coop like i don't know if you can really get in the dude's head like he's just built different i think so um, yeah, it's just it's just kind of funny to see the different tactics, but Coop is just a master at what he does, man. He's good at it. He radiates confidence. He gets it done when he needs to, and, uh, yeah, you can never really doubt the guy. That's for sure. If you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. And to listen to the full three-hour podcast, search Gypsy Tales in your favorite podcast platform or click the link in the description below. Gypsy Gang.